Dutch. What does it look like? And what does it sound like? And how does it work? Here's a page from uh, a Dutch novel. And if you're the kind of person who's interested in watching a video like this and has the English language background or competence to follow it, then I think you should be able to intuit relatively swiftly that you are looking at a uh, Germanic language, even if you have never studied it and can't read it or understand it and don't know which one it is. Uh, I don't think we need to go through the whole process of comparative elimination that we did in the initial video in this series, the German video, by comparing this to a really exotic language or even to a Romance language. Um, I think that you should be able to uh, do a bit of intellectual detective work if you need to identify this and say this is a Germanic language and in any case like that if you don't know the languages it's always a good process of elimination to wonder if it's German because German has more uh, native speakers and more publications than the rest of them combined statistically it, it, it probably is but uh, it isn't uh, as you see here here's the same German page we looked at last time and if we look for the characteristic German features and on this page we're not going to find uh, the uh, capitalization of all nouns on this page uh, we are not going to find the S set, uh, that distinctive German double S uh, character at the end of words, and we're not going to find any umlauts or um, accented vowels at all on this page. So we know we're not looking at German, and since we were just talking about the accent markers, that's actually their absence on a Dutch page uh, is a very distinctive Dutch feature. If you only know English, you might think that it's unusual to use accented characters. Actually, uh, it's unusual not to use them. English and Dutch are some of the only languages, at least in the Germanic family, that, that do not use them. So if you see a page that doesn't have accent markers on it, you, you know you're looking at Dutch. Dutch may have a few more than English in that they keep them in uh, loan words and sometimes use accents to distinguish words that otherwise might be confused. Uh, but uh, in the main, there are not going to be any accents on a, on a Dutch page. And some of the other features, it seems like I'm pointing out the obvious, but they need to be stated and articulated. Look at all the double vowels. That's very characteristic of Dutch, to have two vowels uh, written together. Uh, another very characteristic Dutch feature is the letter combination IJ, IJ, which uh, you can see all over this page uh, and which you uh, will not find uh, in other languages. Uh, so that should be enough, but you might also note lots of uh, initial Zs. So armed with these features, you know you're looking at a Dutch page. What does Dutch sound like, and uh, how does it work? It sounds something like this, and uh, it works like this. Dood and de familie. Dood, death, an, an, or in, de, the, familie, family. Death in the family. 46 years later, stand ik aan het sterfbed van mijn half zuster. 46, 6 and 40, 46. Jaar, years, later, later, stond, stood, ik, I, an, on or at, het, the, sterfbed, st uh, deathbed, van, uh, of, mein, my, half sister, half sister. Uh, so 46 years later, I stood at the deathbed of my half sister. Ada stirf mit open ogen. Ada, the woman's name, stirf, died, met, with, Open, open, open eyes. Others died with open eyes. Zag iets wat wij niet zagen. En wij zagen onszelf in haar tranen verspiegeld. Moeder, broer, zuster, zoon en man. Ze, she, zag, saw, iets, something, wat, which or what, wij, we, niet, di, not, zagen, saw, een, and, wij, we, Zagen, saw, onszelf, ourselves, in, in, haar, her, trane, tears, uh, verspiegeld, uh, reflected. Moeder, mother, broer, brother, zuster, sister, zon, son, and man, and, and husband. Uh, so she saw something that uh, we did not see, and we saw ourselves reflected in her tears. Mother, brother, sister, son, and husband. We zwommen klein op haar netvlies en vlekten langs haar wangen weg. We, we, zwommen, swam, klein, small, op, uh, uh, on, 
haar, her, netvlies, her, uh, her retina, in and flecten, uh, made, made spots, made tracks, langs, along, haar, her, wange, cheeks, weg, uh, away. Uh, so we we swam uh, small first uh, upon her retina, and then we made tracks uh, uh, along her her cheeks. Tun brak het licht. Tun then brak broke het the licht light. Then then the light broke. Then she died. <clears throat> uh, you can probably sense immediately that this language is very similar to English. In particular, when I give you the direct translation, you should see that very many words are, are uh, the same in these languages. And if you happen to know German as well, uh, then you will notice that the words that are not the same in English generally are the same uh, in German, because Dutch uh, very literally lies right between the, these two languages, English uh, and German. And uh, to make that uh, clear, why don't we leave literature aside and go to a simpler, homelier text uh, of uh, sentences, short, simple sentences uh, from a book for Germans to learn Dutch so we can see them side by side and get a better feel of the relationship between these languages. Erste Les, erste Lektion. Wat macht Franz? Was macht Franz? Franz macht ein Pack. Franz macht ein Paket. Wat macht Jan? Was macht Johann? Jan macht ein zwar Pack. Johann macht ein schweres Paket. War statt das Pack? Wo steht das Paket? Das dat Pack steht naast der Tafel. Das Paket steht neben dem Tisch. Naast der Tafel steht ein Pack. Neben dem Tisch steht ein Paket. What can you uh, see or start to intuit here? I mentioned last time that German and English are literally sisters. That's uh, even more true with uh, English and Dutch are literally sisters. So are they with German. But um, German is what's known as a high Germanic language, whereas both English and Dutch are what's known as low Germanic languages. Actually, the, the official name for German is Hochdeutsch, High German, and n the official name for, for Dutch is Nederlands, which means lowlands. Uh, and these refer to basically the uh, position of the languages, uh, Germanic languages on the continent, uh, relative to, to the mountains, to the Alps, or to the, the sea. And English and Dutch both being uh, low Germanic languages, they will show some features that we see here. Here's the word for what in Dutch is wat, and in German it's was. And here is the word for uh, that in Dutch is dat, and uh, in German it's das. And we could find a lot more examples like that where we see the final uh, S sound in German, a high Germanic language, becoming a final T sound in Dutch and uh, in English. And these are in the low Germanic languages. So there we have a little bit of what Dutch looks like and what it sounds like and how it works. And uh, we will use Dutch in the next series of little videos to, as a comparative point for looking at some more Germanic languages.